We still have our tropical depression here off of the coast of Vietnam combined with our incoming shear line. Uh, basically, this cold surge pouring in from eastern China over towards Japan. It's really helping to increase this instability, especially into Luzon as we go ahead over the weekend. All the while, we have the easterlies still bringing some scattered showers across parts of Visayas over towards Mindanao. But first... How about our tropical depression? And you can see it right here. It is completely exposed. Uh, basically, a lot of shear mixed in here. So it, this is not going to intensify to a typhoon, as we've been anticipating. Visible satellite imagery only shows these low-level clouds. Uh, basically, if you look at IR, almost impossible to see out here. We have some convection off towards north. But I think the bigger topic is if we pull back the picture, see how this is attached to our shear line uh, coming in from the north. So despite the fact we have a tropical depression, it's all about the cold surge coming in and how that's going to interact with it. I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, by the way. This is Tomoy, our weather kitty. And let's talk about uh, what we have going on out here. You sit right there, buddy. All right, so first off, uh, basically we're taking a look at our satellite picture here. Oh, yeah right there um and yeah we have our west pack high right in here all of this is rotating around it so easterly is really flaring up across the southern half of the philippines with those scattered showers out here money looking at some pretty decent thunderstorms my worry is as this in our tropical depression and our next shear line kind of all comes together we're going to see some good strong thunderstorms across central and northern areas of luzon and remember um, thunderstorms really take place of course during the summer months you get that daytime heating but here this is gonna be more of a kind of a springtime setup that you would see uh, across continental area like in the united states you have that cold surge coming in here's our shear line we get that moisture coming in from the south and watch this here's a time frame by the way always in the top right now in fact i'll throw this up on the full screen so i'm not so much in your face here um look at this by saturday let's scoot this ahead into saturday afternoon that cold surge is coming in and you can really just see where that is set up um kicking off those thunderstorms there uh, across parts of Isabella into Cagayan and maybe even over towards Manila as we head into Monday too. So, you know, there's uh, plenty going on here that's interacting with each other. So scattered showers increasing still across Mindanao and the Visayas. Our tropical depression is going to move off towards north, but weaken out. But it's all that moisture and that instability coming together that's going to help increase that shear line over the weekend and heading in the early part of next week. So a lot of people looking at some showers, some thunderstorms, also some big fat waves out there. Um, by the way, if you're speaking of big fat waves, I uh, just put out, I'm working on a video right now. So maybe by the time you're watching this, it's out uh, about the largest waves ever recorded was from a ship that actually departed manila in 1933 pretty interesting stuff um i got a i'm working on a video it may not hopefully it's out by the time i you watch this point is yeah it, and it was also in february when that took place so no surprise uh, especially with these cold searches and everything they create some big old waves and instability and showers so speaking of let's take a look at our fly over here general santos 31 to violet 32 cagayan at 28 with still some scattered showers all thanks to that easterly flow kicking across here flooding in palawan um still ongoing my goodness they got they got this training and it was several days of just continued rainfall record breaking precip there my heart goes out to everybody impacted by it manila on friday still gonna look some showers but i think more so if we're talking about region two so it's either iligan extending off towards cagayan um parts of ilocos norte northeast monsoon combined with that instability will be creating those showers so if you are in any of these areas being impacted by our tropical depression or our shear line know that information through your official sources and make sure you check in with your local um, weather forecasters of course i am happy you're watching this and, and you watch these updates means you're staying weather aware which is the number one thing but uh, make sure you check out those official channels. Plus, a big shout out to our Patreon members. I actually uh, just did a giveaway on Patreon. I'm sending out some merch to a few of you guys. A um, bunch going to Shargao and some over towards Okinawa. Because, um, um, yeah, you guys support me so much. I want to kind of give back and everything. So if you like this update, please check that out or hit that like and subscribe button. But, of course, number one thing, as always, friends, is um, stay safe out there. I hope you're having a great and safe day wherever you are but uh be ready for some thunderstorms heading into the weekend especially in the central and northern luzon